Hi, I'm Albert from HTML Camp. Today I'll be taking you through how you can make this beautifully animated website header section. If you like this design, remember to stay till the end. And also don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Let's jump right in. I've gone ahead and put all the images we need in a folder. Now, it'll create the necessary files we need. An index.html file and two style sheets, style and animation.css. Now, I'll press the exclamation key and hit the tab key to generate the HTML structure. In the body tag, I'll create a div with a class header. In that div, I'll create another div with a class of background designs. I'll create two span tags in them and give them classes, top text and bottom text. Now, let's start some styling. Let's link our style sheet to the HTML document. Okay, I'll style all element with padding zero, margin zero, box sizing border box, and font family poppins. Reference the header tag and set the width to 100%, height to 100VH, and overflow to hidden. Now, for the background designs tag, set the width to 100%, height to 100V better, position absolute, font size 20 rem, font weight bolder. Also, set the Z index to 1 to make sure it renders behind all the website elements. For the span tags, I'll give them this linear gradient. I'll set the background clip to text and WebKit fill color to transparent. Now, let's style the top text. Set the position to absolute and set top to minus 190 pixels. For the bottom text, I'll set the position to absolute, bottom to minus 150 pixels and right to minus 90 pixels. Okay, so let's remove the scroll bars. Reference the body tag and set the overflow to hidden. I'm also going to add a background color to the page. So now, let's start creating our navbar. Back in the HTML file, I'll create a nav tag. In this tag, I'll create a div with the class brand. Now let's add the PlayStation logo in this tag. Below this div, create an unorder list and give it the class nav links. Now, let's add some navbar links here. For the nav tag, let's set the display to flex, align item center, justify content space between, and give it some padding, and then set the height to 140 pixels. Also, let's set the width of the logo to 90 pixels to make it smaller. Reference the Navelinks tag and set the display to flex, gap 50 pixels and list style none. Reference the links and set the text decoration to none and the color to black. In the HTML file, let's make a div with the class of content. In it, let's create another one with the class of text. Okay, let's create two H1 tags for the headings. Below them, create a P tag and type some text in it. For now, I'll use some dummy text. Also, let's create an order now button. Now, I'll add the banner image. Reference the content tag and set display to flex. Align item center. Justify content space around and add some margin. For the headings, set the font size to 70 pixels and margin bottom to 10 pixels. Now the P tag set font size to 20 pixels, font weight 300 and add some margin at the bottom. Lastly, the button. 
Remove the border, give it some padding and border radius. Also set the font size to 20 pixels and the color to white. I'll also add a colorful background to it. Let's also set the cursor to pointer. Okay, it's time to start animating. Let's link the animation style sheet to our HTML file. In this style sheet, I'll create an animation for the top text tag called Top Text Anime and give it a duration of 2 seconds. Let's edit the keyframes for this animation. At the first keyframe, I'll set the transform translate X to minus 1000 pixels and the opacity to 0. Now, at the last keyframe, I'll bring it back to its original position and set the opacity to 1. Now, the top text animates accordingly. Okay, so I'll go ahead and animate the other elements. Okay, so the website is now done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video. It really helps to get these tutorials to reach other people. Thanks for your attention and I'll see you next time.